Hello, nerds. Welcome to Out of the Box Games. I'm Brian. I'm Chris. And we are checking out if looks could kill. Here we go. All right. Pull the string, man. You know, you know what I do, right? <laughs> Let's see what it... You gotta kind of like... Yeah, dude. Look at that. That's like a clean cut. It's a clean swipe. All right. I can't get better than that. What do you think this is gonna say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. Better say thank you, right? Hey. Well, it's the same as last it's time, It's the right? same. Yep. It's the old uh, floppy disk or something, right? Yeah, let's put it in the computer, see what we get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's right. the good stuff. All right. All right. Hopefully we're gonna get the dragon cards. I mean, that was the best. Oh, man. Oh. The, uh, the showcase Dominaria cards we pulled were great. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the bonus card. That was nice. Honest card is great. Super nice. It's a random. It's the best one you got. It's a random sliver in that set. Best worst, right? Yeah, it could be like it could be a basic, you know, pretty basic sliver, but yeah. we locked out with the. Uh, oh, absolutely. Was it gem hide, right? Gem hide sliver. Oh, that, yeah. yeah, it was. It was. So this is. Uh, same artist. It's all. It's kind of like an artist series, but it's not technically like they didn't call it an artist series, but it is the same guy on all these. And I believe he does like fashion art or something like that. Oh, nice. As you can tell, I mean like, you know, Looks has a high fashion vibe for sure, right? Yeah. So this is a zombie Lady of Scrolls with a pretty big cost here. We got uh, two generic, three blue. Um, oh, no power at all, just two toughness. It's a human whiz. And you tap an untapped wizard, you control and draw a card. Not too bad. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. High mana cost, but um, good reward, I guess. Good right? reward. Card draw is always pretty great. Yeah, you can never go wrong with card draw. Yeah, ever. It says uh, fashion belongs to those with the luxuries of style and taste. I have both. Oh wow! I, I really like the uh, design here, but it looks like toilet paper. It looks like she's going absolutely bananas with toilet paper rolls she, here. She 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 got. But uh, got the... aside from that, it looks really cool. I like the drop shadow effect with the ring here. It gives it some depth. Yeah. Very splashy. What do you think? Kind of flashy. Would you use this? Uh, if I'm running a deck for that, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because then you can make stuff cheaper. Yeah. And then, yeah, EDH is always good. Check this out, man. This is Liliana of the Dark Realms. I can see it, yeah. You know about this card, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah this is a four drop, two generic, two black. Um, starts out with three loyalty counters. You got a plus one. Search your library for a swamp. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. No. Target creature gets plus XX or minus XX until end of turn, where X is the number of swamp swamps you control. Uh, you pay six, you get an emblem with swamps you control, have tap, and add four black. Damn. That's nice. Wow. Busted. So for a four drop Planeswalker, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah, it is pretty I'm gnarly. I'm liking it. I mean, Liliana's <laughs> just a good... I love Liliana anyway, right? Yeah, she's fun to play in almost any form. But the three um, drop is one of the best ones they made because it's just literally sack. Yeah. Discard. Oh yeah, you're talking Liliana the Veil. Yeah. Yeah. I remember she was a hundred dollars at one point. A hundred dollars, like what? So this, um, she's got like go-go boots on, man, or something like gold splashy go-go boots. I love the smoke popping out of the mm -hmm. skull, all the yeah. smoke. The artwork is awesome, man. Like a one. Wow. I like it. This is wicked. I it's love nice it. One. Super nice. All right, and then we have, and these aren't curled too bad. That's good. Look at that. Nice and straight. Yeah, straightforward. Uh, what do we have here? Ref you want to do this one? Rafik. All right, so Reflector uh, Mage. Uh, it's a creature, human wizard. Three drop, one one uh, planes and one uh, uh, ocean. Oh my goodness, ocean? Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Forget <laughs> island, sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's on out. One uh, planes, one island. Yeah, so whenever a reflector mage enters the battlefield, return a target creature, and the opponent controls to its whole hand. Okay, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. That owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until the next turn. Ooh, that's not bad hmm. for a three drop. It would be good. At, now, this card would be good if you, it had flash. Can you imagine? Oh, uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's a good card. It generally, you can't. But if they put flash, if three drop is amazing. Anything with a three drop and below is always good because yeah. you want to generally get creatures up by by at least turn three. Yeah, and being the crucial part of the game, th turn three is where stuff happens. 
I would generally say, you know, it's a pretty decent card. It is a human wizard, I guess, mm -hmm. right? This mainly yeah. focus on that, on this. Uh, so I yeah. guess these are almost. Well, I don't. Well, Liliana is not a wizard, but they have a human wizard here yeah. so far, and another another human wizard. So yeah. maybe that's kind of the theme with this too. Probably. Um, I mean, I guess like. I mean, I guess it'd be like a Azorius control kind of thing. To yeah. Focus on, right? But two, three Slow powers. Slow down not the bad. opponent. Yeah, yeah, some control there. Yeah, and uh, you know, personally, if you had Flash, I'd say this would be an amazing card. Yeah. And then it's only a three drop. So. It's only a three drop, which is great. I like the straightforward one colorless, one uh, planes, and one uh, you know ocean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one ocean pl planes. And <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, and I like the flavor text, dress to suppress, because that yeah. kind of like, it tells what the card does, kind of, yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. It's a good oh, yeah. good context there. Jack Hughes, apparently, is the artist, by the way. Oh, Jack, Jack Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. I don't know if he's done artwork for Magic the Gathering before, but I don't, I don't recognize his artwork until yeah. I saw this, but um, cool, I like that. Cool. Pretty weird, too. I love how, like, bizarre this art is, and the, the, the <laughs> bizarre. what is it, portal behind him looks yeah. really cool. You got these, like, desert, it's like, kind of like a desert scene. There's stars, and there's, like, shrub like desert yeah. shrubbery it's hard to see because of the overlay but it's there and he's got this Dope. cat like <laughs> cat i don't know that's supposed out. to be but i wonder if this is actually like a self-portrait of him and maybe that's his cat awesome. you know what i mean yeah that'd be funny he's got a hole in his hand a hole in his <laughs> stomach uh yeah shot <laughs> pretty wild man this is really yeah, crazy stuff it's almost Boy. like um very what's it hallucinogenic like yeah probably acid almost. art kind of thing going oh, on jeez yeah all right, and then we have Adaptive uh, Auto... Uh, oh, Automatum? There we go. Automatum. Automation. Automation. Yeah, yeah, sorry. For three uh, three generic. Yeah, it's... I so we got a card, Construct, 2-2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. two, two. Uh, as Adaptive enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, adaptive is the chosen type, in addition to its other types, and other creatures you control of the chosen type get 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a card that we well know. I play it online. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I've seen people play it online. Personally, it's a good card. I mean... Does it have any place outside of, like, an artifact deck, I wonder? Or? Yeah, sure. You yeah? can play it. It's like Solemn Solemn Simulacrum. You could put them in the regular deck. Cause okay. Because card draw and land. Like, why not put them in it? Such a, it's a decent card. Okay. We play it, play it hefty times, too. It's just like Birds of Paradise. But... That's a good card. Not bad. Nice. And the art is cool, right? Art is and, cool, man. This yeah. is really, really neat. I like just all the art. She's got like a these. flower in yeah. her eye. Well, they both do, actually. And he's got like tubes coming out of his... It looks like space balls. Yeah, <laughs> space balls. Yeah. <laughs> he says, always on trend. Dude, Very cool. Beam me up. <laughs> was, it, was it beam me up? Uh, beam me up, Scotty. It's got a... <laughs> ah, hey, yo, hey, yo, it's a sliver. Oh, Basal Sliver. I never even heard of that one. Have you heard of that? No. I mean, Sliver is so many Slivers. Basal? Basal or something like that? Sacrifices permanent, add two. So all Slivers have sacrifices permanent, wow. add two black. And that's a three drop. Oof, man, that's that's crap. Yeah, three drop. It's a two, Dude, two. You get like, it's infinite mana right there, almost like. It's just like the other one, but adding that on top of it, it's just like ridiculous kind of stuff. Like, what the heck? That's kind of nice. Yeah, but you have to... You have to yeah, the thing is, you have to t you have to destroy your own creatures though to to yeah, but you can capitalize always make, on it. You know, yeah. If you're making tokens though, because there's no, it just says sacrifice Unless is you have permanent. Cascade kind of thing, right? We could just bust mm -hmm. out stuff all day. Just okay. <sighs> it just yeah, if you if you can sack your your um, sliver tokens, all the better, because then you don't Might lose your abilities. You don't really want to like ideally, you don't want to so sack many, your. There's so many slithers out there. You know, this is not even. <laughs> you don't want to sack your non-token sliver because yeah. then you'll lose your abilities. But if you can sack your tokens. There you go. You're going to get a, a ton Still of black. That's pretty good, though. That's a pretty good Slither card. Yeah, it's got a long flavor text. So it's fascinating. Well, if you have huh? Phyrexian Altar, too, like the Phyrexian Altar is a... Mm, Phyrexian mm -hmm, Altar can actually mm -hmm. help out with that, too. Kind of just double up on the, the amount yep. of mana you get. Which is amazing. What is that one? Sacrifice a creature and you get... And you get any is mana. it card draw or... Oh, it's mana. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Any mana. So any, any color. Mm-hmm. Not colorless I think, mana. It's I think color. it's. I think it's either. Wait, hold on. I gotta go back. But it's, it's some sort of man. <laughs> either way, that combined with this could be pretty crazy, right? You'd be so bas exactly. basically casting out whatever you want. Yeah, that you point. had the card, right? Yeah, that's just. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's. I'm gonna check it out. Later. I traded him for it. I needed. I needed one of those. Yeah, I had to get Megatron, man. Why, he had a borderless, not? and I had Megatron, and he helped me out with some videos. So I was like, all right. All right, right. It was. It was even literally. Yeah. That was great. Uh, so this says fascinating. This creature's display of 
These creatures display the paradox of tenacity and purpose. Self-destruction I have sought to breed into my thralls. Whoa. Oh, that sounds pretty good, huh? That's wow. gnarly, is it? You gotta breed into your thralls, all right. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know anyway. what a thrall is, but... Cool, so we got a random sliver, it looks like. I don't think that's a dedicated sliver to this set. I think it's a random spot. Yeah. I, I think I could be wrong. I haven't actually seen anyone open this, so not entirely sure. But I gotta say, this is a really cool... Um, I think this is... Secret Lair. Yeah, it's great. Love the it art. Looks Amazing art. I got it mostly just for this one. I really wanted that treatment, and I think yeah, I needed Dark Realms anyway. Yeah, might as well. And then I saw the rest, and I was like, oh, these are great. I think the price on this bundle did go up. I got it for much cheaper. Um, actually, when it just it came out... It looks like... I mean, this looks like a money set anyway. It is yeah, pretty good. Really They're solid. Bad. Like, actual usable like cards for the most cards. part. The dragon, yeah, you keep it. like, not letting that go. Those cards are so bad. Yeah, terrible. I mean, you just But don't... they're old school. The idea was like, it was a... Yeah, no, we get it. Almost commemorative sort of thing, you know. We can still but, always make the joke about it anyway. <laughs> but this, yeah, this one I would say is maybe the toughest to actually use. Just because the mana cost is five. Yeah. Is five I and, mean, it, and it also has three islands too, if you think about it. Like, it's yeah. not even colorless. Like, yeah, if it was yeah. colorless, you can get away with it. Right. But three islands, it's just like... Yeah, so it's going to be like... you. Maybe even mono blue or something, you know what I mean? Possibly, like, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, shoot us a comment, and otherwise, we'll see you in the next video, nerds. Bye.